Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the anatomy of the descending thoracic aorta. The descending thoracic aorta is a continuation of arch of the aorta. Arch of the aorta is a continuation of ascending aorta. Okay, so this is the ascending aorta. Ascending aorta. And this is the arch of the aorta. Then we have the descending thoracic aorta. The descending thoracic aorta extends from the lower border of the body of the T4, the fourth thoracic vertebra, to the 12th thoracic vertebra. Okay. The descending thoracic aorta, descending the descending thoracic aorta extends vertically from the from the lower border of the border of the fourth thoracic vertebra fourth thoracic vertebra lower border of the body of the fourth thoracic vertebra body of the fourth thoracic vertebra to the to the lower part of the body of the twelfth thoracic vertebra. Okay, we got the extension. This is T4. It is on the left side of the body of the lower part of the T4. This little bit right inclination. It is vertically, but little bit right inclination to the left side of the left side of the body of the T12 thoracic vertebra. Little bit it is close to the median plane, but still it is little bit left. Okay, so we got from T4 to T12, T12, little bit right inclination, okay, but in front of the lower part of the body of the T12 vertebra, little bit left of the body. So that is the extension of the descending thoracic aorta. Now we go to the branches of the descending thoracic aorta. Branches of the descending thoracic aorta. Okay. If you remember that it is its course, it it courses posteriorly, it is in front of the vertebra, so it is the content of posterior mediastinum. Okay. So this is in thoracic aorta, a content of posterior mediastinum. Posterior mediastinum. Okay, we got the ascending aorta, content of middle mediastinum. Arch of the aorta is a content of the superior mediastinum. Descending thoracic aorta is a content of the posterior mediastinum. So learn in that way. We have multiple structure in the posterior mediastinum. Those should get blood supply from the descending thoracic aorta. 
So we start to write the branches. Third to eleventh posterior intercostal arteries. Okay, we got the third to third to to eleventh posterior intercostal intercostal artery okay then certainly we'll add the subcostal artery that passes below the 12th rib okay as because we discussed it is a content of posterior mediastinum so it should supply the bronchus okay so we have the, the two left bronchial arteries bronchial arteries okay to left bronch usually right right bronchial artery comes out of the upper left bronchial artery bronchial artery is close to the arch okay here we'll get the bronchial artery usual location here should be here okay maybe another one is like that from the upper upper Bro left bronchial artery we get the right bronchial artery right bronchial artery may also come from the right third posterior intercostal artery okay then it, it has multiple esophageal branches because esophagus also passes vertically down along with the descending thoracic aorta so it has mediastinal branches, mediastinal branches. So you get post intercostal branches this side, that side, third to eleven. We get the superior phrenic artery, superior phrenic artery. Okay, there is a branch of the descending thoracic aorta it is a branch of the descending thoracic aorta and it supplies the upper part of the part of the diaphragm and certainly it is related it is related to the to the pericardium so we'll get pericardial arteries multiple pericardial arteries Okay, we got the branches. Let us summarize again. Third to eleventh posterior intercostal arteries, the subcostal artery, two left bronchial artery. We also discuss the origin of the right bronchial artery, usually from the upper left bronchial artery or from the right third posterior intercostal artery. Esophageal branches, multiple. Mediastinal branches that supplies the loose irregular connective tissue and the lymph node, and superior phrenic artery that supplies the upper part of the of the diaphragm, pericardial artery that supplies the pericardium, especially the fibrous pericardium. So this is the these are the branches of the descending thoracic aorta. Now we learn clinical anatomy. Okay. Clinical anatomy. Okay. The descending thoracic aorta is a common site in case of dissecting aneurysm of the aorta. There may be chance of dissecting aneurysm of the descending thoracic aorta. So that may be due to many reasons. One of the reasons is atherosclerotic changes and the age advances in hypertension. Okay, there may be it may be due to some connective tissue disorder also. There will be a false lumen will be formed in the wall of the of the descending thoracic aorta. There will be a secondary lumen 
of flow of blood in the wall of the descending thoracic aorta that may rupture and that may be fatal okay so we got the branches of the descending thoracic aorta it is a content of what content of posterior mediastinum again this is the ascending aorta content of superior medi it is a content of the middle mediastinum it has two branches left and right coronary arteries that supplies the heart this is the content of middle mediastinum this is the content of superior mediastinum this is the content of posterior mediastinum okay so that's all about the anatomy of the descending thoracic aorta if you have any question please feel free to ask me have a nice day bye now